Hawks are unstoppable. Just been 3 0 oh, yeah, and everything. You're right. Cheap 3 0 the Shadow Sip. What am I talking about? 3 0 Barlow. I'm a Real moron. Excited. His closest match was against Revelation Void. So, let's uh, look to get him back in here. He's been saying that uh, he's also been getting CFN disconnects like Larlad, like we saw earlier. Uh, mm -hmm. So, we'll see uh, how this goes if we're going to get any disconnects. Hopefully, both players are just able to play it out here. That would be the best. All right, let's go around the horn, Kamikaze. That would be the best. All right, grand finals, ladies and gentlemen. Matoya on Boxer, Blarland on Abigail. Getting things started here. Oh, Going so into it. I could give you better advice, but I won't. Yeah, Kamikaze tried to give me better advice one time. Then he stopped. I realized it wasn't worth it. Yeah, you realize it was like beating your head against the wall. It just doesn't Pretty work. Much. But yeah, we'll see if Larlet has made any adaptions here against uh, Mato uh, over the course of this last like hour and a half since they last played, pretty much. And for all we know, Madoa has been chugging drinks nonstop ever since the winners' finals. I don't know, it looks like we're back to the same game plan here, right? Just yeah. poking with these dash punches at the right range, just getting Dimsy real charged up, and just locking Larlet down in this corner. Oh, good fears. I love the jump out out of the corner there. Doesn't get a whole lot off of it. But I love the idea of it. No Garemi is a uh, super ultra diamond. Ultra diamond. Ultra diamond. Yeah, please just call me not. All right, but locking down this corner still. Yo, okay, messes finally up getting the caught on a, on a run mix, right? Good whip punish on the charge fears. Okay, okay. Yo gets clipped, no conversion though. Alright, oh, activate yeah. and find that crouch jab to close it out. Yeah, good activation combo, no need to spend any meter or whatnot. Yo, clipping. Oh, Yo, right. just mashing right afterward, baby. Not afraid of the tire, no need to fear the tire. Balrog's buttons apparently clip it. Yeah, every time you see that Matoha, it just walks forward and sweeps. Oh, oh too far no. for the grab. Oh. Getting clipped a lot. This time punishing the tire activation with the raw EX low. Get the B-skill char charge. I like it. There we and go. A little too close that time. Got clipped out and anti-air there from Barlad. Getting some damage started here. Going to spin it off the kill. Should kill. Yeah, that's a kill. It's the camera, that's it. You gotta believe me, something. I like I like the meter management there out of Barlad. Yeah, exactly the, the health to kill on, but he gets a crush on the dash punch this time. Looking nice, but again. That challenge. Just, he challenges so much with just that target combo streak. Alright, that was plus such range, a plus range. Such a brave challenge and working out for it. Let's see. Okay, good jump in, get stuffed with a little flick of the jab, but a, just a raw heavy punch gonna get him and then rose the tire. Marlite really not able to make this V skill work for him in this matchup. Yeah, and there you go, you're so afraid of the tide that you're getting tossed. Larlight able to get some of these mix-ups now. Okay. Good activation, gets it. Oh, trying to break the oh, armor, but awkward. it's got too much, and that's gonna be enough to kill. No! No doesn't spend any meter, gets command throw, is that enough? It is enough! Larlight acting like he won't get a command grab. Why did you spend meter? Yeah, Matoha is up one oh. on the set here. Why wouldn't you spend meter there? You're not. Don't save meter for round four. There is no round four. There's also, no round uh, four. fix the score, Scott Come on. No, I 
No. Yes. Fine. Thank Only because you. you asked. All right. And again, just back to the Matoha show of dash straighting it, Flower Lad, all the way to the corner. Had a really good spacing, hard the challenge, hard the punish. Or yeah, every once in a while, Flower Lad will, will clip with a jab, but again, like, again, it's so, so much uh, pressure in terms of just getting everything charged up here. Spinning a bar to get more plus frames, get a little bit closer. It's right, so switching up what he. Go ahead. Yeah, switching up what he does after the dash punches as well to keep Larlat on his toes, right? Yeah. The whiff punish on that dash straight right there. Matoa yeah, getting hit. a Give little bit too guard. predictable. Okay, there's the reset. No matchup this time. It is and it's a stun. stun. I believe that it would stun, but I didn't want to believe that it would be stunned. <laughs> like, I'm like, no way. No way that actually stuns. And yet, here we are. If Larlad really getting these perfect reactions with these sweeps against the V Skill 2 charge up for Mataha. I like that Matoha is not changing up from the game plan, still doing the dash punches at the, the similar spacing. She's so getting that chip. Chip in, build the yeah. meter, but Blarland just flicking that wrist, clipping a lot of these right now. I'm surprised. Yeah, and just these jabs are adding up. Just Matoya can't get any closer in this range. Finally, Blarland jumps and allows something to happen, but just right back to him after one Ogi situation. And Matoa realizing that he that she just needs to walk on out of that sweep range, and Blarland not. Not keeping his spacing in check. Yo! Did he hit? No. no. Good, smart stuff from Matoha there. Block, and then that knows that even just the slight delay there to bait out the super is yeah, worth it. Yeah, it looked like she was going with a shimmy there. So yeah, also caught out that wake up super. Good stuff. Smart decision. What? Marla, once again, putting on that wall of jab defense. Oh, man, the EX dash straight threading that needle. Tire, Yo, get out of though. here! Yeah, not letting Barlad have a safe wake-up, just gonna keep pressuring here, but life leads are pretty much tied up here. Yo, the jab! The jab! Oh, Cash in the dash straight. Another one, another one, another one! Another oh, one! Man. Yeah, catching the EX, and he's just throwing it out with the impunity here. The activation, finally lost enough of his life, but just can't get close enough to command grab. And then jumps right on over the command grab. Matoa in trouble. That's going to be a tire combo and the game. Lorelad tying things up in one piece. Abigail wins. Yeah, just really nice adaptation there from... A bar lad finally, right? After four games of just eating dash straights, dash straights, dash straights, he's like, wait a second. I can I just can push jab. jab. That is a thing. That is a thing. Most characters have a lot more trouble. Like, the Abigail's range on his jab and his hitbox on the jab is much better than most characters' four framers or five framers. Yeah, a lot of them have to be worried about getting whiff punished by the dash straight just because exactly. of how short their jab is but there's no fear from that from uh abigail right yeah, because of that flick the second flick is so good look and at that no whiff it's just bad at all yeah just outside of range and punishes the whip suit that's what we need to see a little bit more of we actually need to see Blarlad stop trying to sweep that so so quickly. Alright, yeah, like Crush Kill not even hitting the tire out of the way. That's how that's how much he uh loves pushing that sweep in those situations. Alright, there we go. He didn't he didn't try to sweep <laughs> it. Finally. Really plus there, but now has to hold some of this. Larlad pressure tried to mash Easy out. Armor. Guard break. Okay. What's it gonna be? Another, Another guard, guard break. break. Okay. 
Goes for the low card break. Is it enough to kill? Yo, gets the reset, and that's gonna be enough to kill. Far like clutching yeah. that round out. Yeah, really looking like he has full control over this matchup. You say that, he's getting fucking punched, but then uh, Toa getting hit by pot tires. This time, not though. Alright, Toa regaining composure. Back in there. Toss. Oh my goodness, and just keeping him locked down here in this corner, not letting any space get generated. Toa just out of range, not enough to stun still, but one more touch. And that'll do it. Toa tying things up one, one round apiece in this game. I love that jump back jab, just to like get out of the throw, like to stop any shenanigans, or whatever. Smart yeah, decision. Back, yeah, back to this crouch jab show. Oh, oh, threading that needle there with the uh, plus frames and the ex dash punch. Laura yeah, Lads. I was saying. If if you're not going to walk forward and try to sweet punish my dancey rolls, I'm just going to keep backing up and do it. Yeah. All right now you can see the bar lads playing the game, mind game, right? Shaking, taking the time to walk forward a bit more as Mato Matoha just sits. Yeah. Because right now Matoha's got the life lead and Matoha is completely willing to let time go down. Yeah, it won't build up any gray life blocking gaps, right? That's right. So he's got a major life lead right now. Larlad's the one that's got to go in. Matoa knows it. Trying to apply a little bit of corner pressure, but not really over committing. Double Dak Dash gets out of there. Yeah, just don't deal with the situation, right? Blown right through the armor. Has to watch out for Super. And this time the command grab the clip. But it's only 20 seconds. You have 20 seconds. What's it going to be? It has to make something big happen. The reset oh, catches. Oh, we're making big things happen. Not enough. One back, more touch. He's is backing needed. off. No, he went for it. That's a mistake. And loses for it. Oh, no. Yeah, that's a rough situation. You've seen so many times in those tough wake up situations. Uh, Matoha is just waking up, light, medium, heavy, activation, and he's going to start swinging. He takes the round for it. Or it takes, yeah, the, takes game the game for it. Yeah, going up 2 1 here. So the pressure is really on Blarlet here to win two games straight just to reset the bracket. Mm -hmm. But that that does mean that it is Matoa's game to lose it. So this can be, uh, you know, the additional pressure of like, okay, I just can't throw away a game. And that can really start eating you away. Yep. Um, but an ultimate grandmaster, I feel like, it has that experience playing enough matches to. Really have it locked nah. down, and we're seeing a character swap. Possibly a V skill. Not a character swap, a V skill drop. Yeah. Because that V skill too is not working out for Waterland at all. Yeah, Matoha is just completely aware of it, and has answers to it. Like more than just being aware, he has answers to it, which is a lot more than we've seen any other player have tonight. Mm -hmm. That's a player that's been in the lab. It's like, I'll wait. Yeah, in these situations, I can just sweep it on out of there. No problem. Alright, let's see what Blarla did. Maybe he just wanted a second. He just wanted to, like, take a second, relax, calm down. We'll yeah, really think out about the, the game again here. He does keep the same V skill, V trigger combination, the same yeah. thing from. Um, Matoha here, just everything pretty much the same. Yeah, just a time, little bit of a mental break. Yeah, this time doing the V skill a little bit too close, Matoha gets sweet punish for it. Oh my goodness, and now we're seeing the, the whiff punishes with that stand, uh, stand medium punch. And Blarlad is still going for that, that little crush Oh no, jab. but didn't get the full buffer. And probably one of the first times I've seen Matoha locked down here in the corner. No punish on the target combo. That's mad minus. Very unfortunate for Blarlad there. Could have I mean, really this used... change. Yeah, this change from Blarlad of just walking forward. Right before we've just seen him like walking back, trying to make the dash punches whiff. But now he's just trying to be too close. 
Yeah. He just he just wants the space and you know, I the life leads are lights are pretty even right now. But I feel like I feel like Barlad's winning right now. It's it like we're we're like one hit away from Barlad just taking control of the whole the whole game. Oh, but one hit from Matoha here as well, but missed the command grab did it a little bit too early. Gets clipped low, no confirm. Alright, just gonna spend it there to get a knockdown. Tried to toss him again at one point. But mistimed it and then threw a jab, which got armored on through. Larlad, yeah, let's that, go. I think that EX run is slightly moving Larlad's hurt box and throw box backwards, and so that's why he's dodging these throws like this. Because he was definitely close. Like, I watched it on stream. Mm hmm. But now we're seeing the counter adaptation of Matoa being a lot more dedicated to making sure that he's taking this corner. Barla percent medium punch trying to catch the back dash. Matoa being very patient overall. So he gets the flow, no confirm out of Barla though. Nope, staying in front didn't look like Matoa was prepared for that on the very short jump arc that. Uh, Rise armor on through, but the V skill EX dash is good. And it sweeps the tire right on Arator. Doesn't need to deal with it. Alright, Blarlight finds this point to activate. Can't get a combo from that range. Matoya immediately ready with his own stuff. Yo, goes for the command grab, it looks like. Matoa yep, ready to press that him. button. Yeah, always. So he's always looking to break those armors, right? And so you always have to be like checking with your buttons in between, right? Yeah. All right, decent punish could have gotten more, but that's okay. Yeah, just wanted the the V skill charge up there. Yo, walks on out of range with the command grab, punishes Blarlad for it, flips him again. Blarlad's in a lot of trouble. He's in the corner. He's at a fifty percent life deficit. Let's see if he's able to get make anything of this. Yeah, but if we ever seen. Abigail's do something. It's to make some pretty big life leads. That's true. They melt life bars like in their bread and butter. Oh, especially when their opponents dash into their big buttons, but nice activation here. Oh, and he made the miss. Does it. It. Oh no. Lorelai yeah, just does be... it. Yeah, but big congratulations to Matoha here. Taking it 3 1 here. Literally only the second game that he's dropped all night looking super solid on this ball rock. Just unstoppable. Like, it didn't seem like anybody had answers for the perfectly spaced dash punches, right? Yeah. Barlow had had some good games going when he walked Matoha down to the corner and could force the dash punches to be misspaced. Mm hmm. But overall, just not a lot. But. That's a tournament, folks. Kamikaze, you got anything else you want to promote here? Uh, yeah, let's just go back to the mis misspelled Pacific down there. Uh, we got a tournament next Thursday. For all you West Coasters out there, it's a $5 buy-in. It's going to be good stuff. Like, $50 pot bonus that I'm just going to throw in there, too. If you ever wondered how a well-run online term is. And I'm not talking about the bullshit that I do here. We're talking about, like, actually, I care about this tournament kind of running. Like sober. Well, let's not, not go that far. Like, let's okay. not go crazy there, no, Remy. Like, there's That's only it. so much I can do. But this is where it's going to happen. Meanwhile. Other than that, we run these tournaments every Friday. Thank you guys for showing up. If you're on the East Coast or Central, join the Reddit tournament that happens every Monday, except for this coming Monday, because we're doing the Royal Rumble, which I will be a part of, and it's going to be sick. No, Remy. Yeah, yourself. I'm on commentary for uh, the Royal Rumble, uh, but just keep in mind that there's a random select tournament tomorrow to raise money for uh, Phantomeria, Equinox's Phantomeria, who's mm -hmm. been displaced out of her uh, living space, apartment, home, I don't know what it was, uh, and lost her computer as well, so she has no way to produce any content, which was her mm -hmm. livelihood. Uh, mm -hmm. So she's trying to get back on her feet, move to a new place, get a new computer, and so yeah. uh, RSF is partnering with Equin Equinox to work on that. Yeah. I'm also running a first, first 100 tomorrow with that masher, 
uh, nice coast to coast matchups. That'll be total fun. Uh, it's just gonna be us shouting at each other. Why? Why? Because we're raising money. All right. Can't argue with that. Again, it's just more more donation drives for Phantom Miria to help her get on her. So with that, thank you all for showing up. It's been a lot of fun. Have a good night. Peace. Peace.